Hi, this is KB3KOC, and today we're going to take a look at setting up a radio for portable use. Um, the setup that I have here was inspired by the need to take something uh, portable that was a little bit more powerful than um, an HT with a rubber duck. So what I've done is I've taken a 2 meter, actually a dual band 2 meter 70 centimeter uh, rig and uh, placed it inside of an ammo can and um, I've got battery as power that I can use um, wherever I go. Now again, the setup that I have here is going to contain a radio that's actually in an ammo can. Um, you can find these at um, any one of your military surplus stores. The one I picked up here I got from Sunny Surplus uh, before they went out of business. I think this uh, can cost me about uh, $10. But to get going, all we simply have to do is to open up the ammo can and here you'll see that we'll have a radio. Now the unit that I have here is Yezu's FT7800. Um, the reason I chose this radio was because it has a detachable head, the faceplate comes off, and um, I wanted to have access to all the controls. So what I've done here is to make sure that the installation remains waterproof um, in this can, is that I made sure I had, to, I had a solution where I didn't have to put any holes uh, in the can itself. So everything is secured by Velcro. Uh, what I've done is I've taken a piece of 2x4, about uh, six inches wide and we have actually velcroed that to the top and we've screwed the uh, face plate on to the 2x4 and the radio unit itself is placed in backwards again so I could get to the antenna connection and also give uh, the fan some room to uh, blow. We also have a speaker up here, an external speaker and last but not least we have a watt meter so we can look at checking the voltage uh, on the battery on our power source and it'll let us know when it's time to uh, switch out the battery. Now to make this even quicker what I've also done is made sure I've got Anderson connectors on everything that I need it. So I've taken some zip line or zip cord here and placed some Anderson connectors uh, on it and um, these are going to run to the battery terminals. <clears throat> Connecting this is as easy as connecting the Anderson plugs to the watt meter. Um, in this case these two guys are side by side the battery and the uh, ammo can so if you needed to have more room you could easily take another piece of zip cord and put Anderson connectors at each end and just simply use it as an extender to go from the battery to the watt meter. <clears throat> The watt meter on the other end is going to be attached to the radio and these are the leads that you see here and this battery may need to be charged it's just a little bit over uh, right about 10 and a half volts but that should be enough to power up the radio for this demonstration once that's done we can just simply power on the radio and you'll see here that it comes on and at this point um, we're almost ready for operation we'll turn this back off real quick the next order of business is here I've got this little small pigtail that I keep right underneath the radio. We'll connect one end to the radio. We'll connect the other end to coax. And this coax runs to my antenna. The antenna of choice I'm using here for this demonstration in my backyard is the Cushcraft AR270, which is a vertical for two centimeter, a two meter and seventy centimeter operation. But again, you could use easily any antenna that you would find um, readily available, or something that would be easy for you to use and to uh, set up. At this point, we can go ahead now and power on the radio, and then once we power on the radio, we're ready for operation. And one of the things you'll see here is I've got uh, public service frequency uh, that's popped up. Or again, if we just simply go...
you'll see here that it just simply picks up that it picks up one of the uh, local repeaters here that I've got plugged into uh, the radio. Okay. Um, again, you could look at using any type this setup for any type of portable communications. Again, here I just happen to have a dual band 2 meter 70 centimeter rig here, but you could also use this for portable HF operation. Uh, one of the radios that comes to mind is the radio that I have, which is the Azu FT 8 57 uh, again the same type of configuration where you could actually take off the uh, head and look at mounting it in the same configuration um, again the nice thing about the ammo can not only is that it is waterproof but also since the head comes off and you've got the nice little metal piece here you could actually use this to put a mag mount antenna so um, if you needed to have uh, any type of antenna in any type of situation you could get by with a mag mount and at this point you've got ultimately I guess uh, 50 watt handy talking <laughs> thank you for uh, watching this video and um, hopefully uh, this will inspire you to come up with your own type of situation for whatever type of uh, solution that you need or your own type of solution for the situation <laughs> that you find yourself in thanks again and uh, thanks for watching this video again this is KB3KOC 73